morning folks this is the slickest day of the year probably that right there is the next step for me i like that that'll be my five mile platform five to ten mile platform little skiff okay so i'm about to pull up on the first wreck in the area right or spot rather um i'm gonna start with a big profile swim shed right this is a beautiful day so i ain't you know Definitely ocean's the place to be. If the weather's like this, I just can't resist coming out here as opposed to inshore. It's just, uh, I don't know what it is. The mystique of the ocean to me. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up on this first uh, little wreck right here. I'm gonna drop the swim shafts first. Maybe after that we'll work a metal jig. And yeah, we're about two miles off the beach and two miles took about 30 minutes. To get out to this location. Uh, only one thing you can do, try. Let's see what kind of drift we got. I'm gonna try to be pretty efficient out here, man. I don't know how much pressure's been around, etc. So gotta be an oyster toad, right? Yeah. First fish. It's gonna be a toad, huh? Oh, we've been jigging for a couple minutes here. Oh. Love myself some octopus. Did not know we'll catch these things so late in the season either. And, uh, <laughs> well, you know, get two or three of them, get the pot of water going. So the octopus is one of many things uh, we catch here. I haven't caught too many squid. I've gotten a couple. But not uh, octopus seems to be a little more the prevalent thing to catch here all right i think we caught about 10 million black sea bass that size i think i gotta make a move unfortunately let's make a do the metal the metal's gonna do switch it up if we get slammed by the dink sea bass we'll keep moving The, the octopus hole. That's what we're doing, huh? Makes it second one. Come on, man. We could do better than the octopus. It's like bycatch fishing. It's real slow. It's a very slow day out here. Speckled trout. Oh, we lost them. So I spent an hour and change jigging the big mega structures. I had those speckled trout under the kayak for a minute. Uh, it seems I have lost them and I couldn't locate them again. Uh, just two octopus, two for three. All right, that's it. This is so beautiful. I wish we got a little better bite though. Now, here we go. Next spot. Next spot. This kind of sucks. Can't seem to find uh, legal ones anywhere. Gonna have to make a move. Hit some ledges, I guess. I don't know. Got him. Something. Black sea bass. Black drum. Decent tug, 16 inch or so. Yeah, a little smaller, but don't get as big around these parts. So a tog or two, it's not have to be a giant for me. A little octopus and toe tog. That's what we're working with, guys. It's not too bad. Gonna keep a couple tog for sure. That being said, I hit a lot of spots. That being the first tug, yeah, not looking too good. Got 
gosh, there's so many of these things out here today. Well, on one side of the coin, it's a very slow day out here. Uh, the other side of the coin is probably got, if you want to talk about <laughs> my dollar value per pound, yeah, those octopus are racking in the, <laughs> racking in the dollar value quick. Hit another spot here. Oh, I gotta go. I'm gonna do a little looking around, man. It's just dead. That's the bait we're working with, squid and blue crabs. Couple bumps on the jigs. Water's 55, so that's like winter. It's basically winter water. So find a massive schools of small black sea bass. That's the problem. That's not too good. Toadfish, right? Maybe it's sea bass. Oh, snap, ginger snaps. Tub tug. That's my biggest Carolina tug, I think. Decent fish. Been working through a lot of junk to catch this fish. It's a pretty nice tug there, man. So we're on two fish um, and three octopus. So, uh, let me see, I'm gonna drop a couple more crabs. I think I might just keep one more tog or a sheep's head if we get one of those too. Or some black sea bass, those we can freeze. So let me see, let me get back on this. On a day like this, we're gonna just enjoy the solitude and the peace and the loveliness of the ocean. And you never know, we might get a gag grouper. That's not out of the question to see one of those. Toadfish on that one, right? Probably. You're gonna have to get a couple toads around here. Oh, sir. This one, this one should be a legal one. Look how fat he is, too. I think that's gonna be like a 14 or 15, honestly. Yeah, for sure. He's got like been chewing on something. No doubt about that one. All right. Damn, we brought in so much life here right now. Yeah, let me keep him. I don't know. Something decent. Another tog. Toe tog. This one's a little small, I'll put him back. He's like 13 or 14. Got a chunk of pinfish down here for like 10 minutes now and nothing's happened. There is life on the bottom, but yeah, nothing's happened. So we're gonna make a move and start working our way in. It's not too bad. You know, that's a winter, that's a winter bite, man. I just bumped into something out here. That's something, man. Let me stop on it. Told you. Well, let's see what it is. Hey. It's a little shorty, but it sh we found some structure. That's cool, man. New play for me, man. Oh, that's a big piece of structure. Holy crap, we zipped over it pretty quick. It's a good little rock there. See, I was just cruising home and heard it was something. Oh, it's stacked with, uh, I'm guessing small black sea bass. That one's not too bad. It's 
Definitely some better size ones we've, we've just bumped over. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's still not there though. At the same time. God, I wish I had my underwater camera. My screen is like crazy with these things. I don't know if it's all little black sea bass though. Huge school, man. They're all so close to keeper size too. I mean, that's a giant cloud of fish down there. I tried, I worked through so many schools of sea bass. So many fish were like 13, so it gave me optimism. Like they were like 12 and a half, 13. So I was like thinking to myself, you know, should be some bigger ones. It sounds like a, a lot of the black sea bass here. Uh, in short, it's tough to consistently get, you know, numbers of fish over 13 inches. It happens, but it can be pretty tough too. So not too bad. We worked it. We tried a couple different things. I'm gonna head in now. So caught some fish, so I can't complain. Yeah, what's the problem is those small sea bass make it hard to fish spots for a while. Just a beautiful December day though, man. Like it's, I love that type of weather. That overcast, high 50, no wind. You guessed it, we're getting a big front. So I didn't drop the underwater camera down, man. I had a SD card issue with it, so no camera. Uh, maybe next time we will do that. I wanted to do it today, but it didn't work out. Let's see what happens when we, uh, see what happens next week. Still not bad fishing. December's pretty good. All right, well, we can get back on the uh, beach here and we'll talk soon. So I hope you enjoyed.